Originally, India was to be granted independence in May 1948. The date was preponed to 15th August 47. So after the Indian Independence Act was passed on 18th July, you had 12 plus 17 days to complete the process of signing 562, if at all, instruments of accession. On the 25th of July, note this date, that's why I said I needed to put it on record because your lordships don't allow me. Because my learned friend Millers filed 18 pages of written submissions and then 250 Millers. I tried to file five pages and I was told I cannot, but that doesn't matter. This is all part of the record I wanted to place, but it doesn't matter. I think your lordships should take it on record, but I leave it to your lordships. Anyway. Uh, is it uh, the only thing that you want to file is now this five-page uh, submission? Uh, no, no, uh, that was originally which your lawyer denied me yeah, at that time. But I, Malaj, file now? because he has so made some list of dates. Table, what do you want to file now? Nothing, Malaj, just basically the, I have to meet the so arguments. Long, fair enough. Well, but we, so long as what you are filing is not much more than what everybody has so far filed. No, Malaj, why would you don't I, want Malaj, to be confronted with a 300-page uh, document. Malaj, your lordships, I will not waste a minute of your lordship's time, Malaj. So how, how big is it and what is it that you want to file? 38? 38 pages. There's nothing much. All right. File the 38 pages. No difficulty. We've even taken note of your earlier 15 pages. But if we had permitted you to file, the whole sequence would have arrived. I mean, I'm not complaining. Everyone else but would have done so. That's I the last one to complain. I never want to raise the issue. But when I was told that I can't file no, no, it. Mr. Sibyl, it was not meant for you. It was meant for everybody. I, I know that. So but don't don't everybody file. The problem is everybody filed. But neither, but I mean, the less, there's too little time. I we we took down the need of having to record in writing that's what we have argued. But now we've taken it's all right, No problem. So, well, as, uh, the say, his list of dates, not mine. No, no, no. We have already added your list of dates. I've made a blue mark. If you have had these green and yellow and that, that I've just added a blue mark to your list of dates. That's all. Not my list of so dates. Their, their list of dates, as I recall, was about 110 pages. 10 pages. I've just added five pages to that, Mullahs, to, to give some correct date. So the 115 includes the earlier 110. That's right. That's right. And five which you have added. <laughs> that we don't mind. There's no difficulty. That's all. Nothing more than that. What is the what is the nature of the data? For example, he said reservation didn't apply to Jammu Kashmir. So I'm saying it, it applies. This is the article. So these kind of things, Mullahs. All right. There's no, there, for example, no education. Actually, education in Jammu Kashmir is free up to university. Free education till university. In the constitution itself. Well, I mean, these, these are facts which should have been stated by the other side. They say there is no official language. There was an official language. Well, you can file it because thank you. Thank you. note another thing. On 25th of July, 2000 and uh, sorry, uh, 1947, the Chamber of Princes met. So, Malas, in the Chamber of Princes, Sadar Patel said, "You will. We will only." have with us that the union communications external affairs and um, defense. defense you are autonomous for the rest 25th of july 25th of july that's also part of the record that i've given you in mount batten said it in the chamber in the in the on 5th of july he had said it also so mothers therefore and that was the understanding with the princes it will be a federal structure, communications, foreign affairs and defense will be the union and the states will be autonomous. That's one part. The other part was, Mullahs, there were some princely states, Mullahs, one of them, the only property it had was a well. He was a prince of that well, Mullahs. He had no means of livelihood. They naturally, such small states had to join larger princely states. Kachyavar. Saurashtra. Saurashtra had incorporated 220 princely states within it. The whole process of 17 days was an entirely asymmetric process. Idea was to persuade all of them to please sign instruments of accession. Pepsu was one of them. Rit Kort, Pesu, all those. That was happening, Mullahs, with Sadar Patel and VP Menon and Mountbatten, who had personal relations with all the princes, which neither Sadar Patel had nor VP Menon had. Because 
Then the Governor General Mountbatten was actually served in India for a long period of time. And each of these princely states had a resident. And they would be told that you only should spend 10% of your revenue of the state on yourself. The rest you should spend on the public, but most of them spend 80% of themselves. But ultimately, they all exceeded. They all signed instrument of accession by 15th of August with a standstill agreement and nothing more. Some of them who merged into larger administrative units didn't have to do that, Mulas, because then they were represented by the larger administrative units. So my learned friend, the solicitor, is right that many of them, princes, did not sign, did not merge because they were merged with other larger administrative units. So it was an entirely asymmetric way of actually getting them all together in 17 days. It was a Herculean task. Ultimately, who stood out? Hyderabad, Junagar, Kashmir, and Travancore. In fact, the first ruler to revolt was Travancore. Yeah, because of the advice of the Dewan Malas, who ultimately got attacked and was in hospital, and then they signed the instrument of accession. But that's just to just, just Malas. I know that. I don't want to take it. And Malads, now you were left with Junagadh, you were left with Hyderabad and Kashmir. And as far as Kashmir was concerned, your Lordship knows, the instrument of accession was signed subject to certain conditions. In many of the instruments of accession that were signed by other, with other princes had a provision that they can be a supplementary instrument of accession, but they cannot be unless I give consent. That is, the ruler gave consent. So some of them had supplementary, but this didn't happen in Jammu and Kashmir. The point that I'm making is, Malas, Jammu and Kashmir was the only state in India where a special dispensation was made for reasons which were domestic and reasons that were international, which is why this whole argument that you must, there must be uniformity is completely bereft of the historical context. Now, Principle was contiguity and population. Junagar acceded to Pakistan. Acceded to Pakistan. Somnath Temple was in Junagar, very dear to all of us. So, Malads, having acceded to Pakistan, India wanted to invade and take over Junagar. Mountbatten said, you can't do it. He has acceded to Pakistan. This is foreign territory for you. So, ultimately, Malads, infiltrators were sent. And they took over and there was no resistance. Then negotiations took place and Pakistan agreed to a plebiscite, a referendum, knowing full well that such a referendum would happen in Kashmir also then. The same thing happened in Hyderabad. The ruler was Muslim. The people wanted to join India. But he did not join Pakistan. He wanted to be independent. He didn't accede to Pakistan. And there was a general one, 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 you know, this happens nowadays also. There was a free, free, freelancer Mullahs who was who promised the, the the ruler of Hyderabad that I will get you arms. You give me so much money. So they piled up a lot of arms to resist any invasion. Ultimately, Mullahs, that man, Mr. Cotton, left him, and uh, the invasion took place in the occupied. Now you are left with Jammu and Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir, the population was Hindu, uh, was uh, Muslim majority and the ruler was Dogra. It is in this historical context that you must view what happened in Jammu and Kashmir was only to ensure that Jammu and Kashmir becomes an integral part of India. There can be no question about it. There can be no plebiscite in Jammu and Kashmir. That is our position. We stand with India. Now, Manas, Having signed the instrument of accession by 15th of August and stand, some of them standstill agreements, the question then was they had to merge because none of them had any administrative units in place. You had to have local self-government and your lordship knows at that point in time we wanted India to be a democratic nation. So then Sadar Patel and Menon persuaded all of them to please have merger agreement so that we can treat you in the same way as other provinces. So all of them signed merger agreements, not Jammu and Kashmir. Nor was, nor was Jammu and Kashmir asked to sign a merger agreement. Never. How many merger agreements were there actually? Much, much, much less. I will give you a of the number. Because everybody who signed an instrument of accession didn't necessarily sign a merger. Right? No, 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 
No, because what happened was many of them. Many of them had formed unions with existing states like Patiawada right. or Sur that's Saurashtra. That's right. Tepsu. That's right. So, Malas, that didn't happen in Jammu and Kashmir. So, when the infiltrators came, Malas, when the infiltrators came, and he couldn't defend himself when he went away from Sirinagar, Malas, he ran away from Sirinagar, and we, we helped him, Malas, by going there. The issue arose, we had no communication systems in place, no communication system in place, and we didn't know the topography. Our army, was, we had never been there. The army, represented that if you want to deal with the infiltrator, the source of it is Pakistan. So we'll have to target Pakistan, to which Mountbatten said that will declare war. If you do that, it will be war. You cannot, you cannot be allowed to do that. So we were not allowed to do that. So the result was that in that situation, kindly remember us, referendum is not the only place that we're talking about in Jammu Kashmir, but there should be no referendum, there can't be a referendum in any case. Mother. But referendum happened in the Northwest provinces. We had the Congress government in the Northwest frontier province. A referendum happened there and they went to Pakistan. Referendum happened in Junagadh. So it is not as if this was alien to the concept of how people express their wills. But in our case, what happened was the government of India said, let the constituent assembly, namely the people of Jammu and Kashmir, represented in the constituent assembly, express the will of the people. That's how 370 was came, came in. There was no other way to express the will of the people, Manas, certainly not through a referendum. Nobody wanted it. Especially after the first year, because in 1953, Sheikh Abdullah was arrested by Nehru. Because he raised the slogan that we want to be autonomous. Sheikh Abdullah was arrested by Nehru himself. Nobody wanted a referendum. Nobody would have allowed a referendum. But the way out was, in that context, draft a provision in 370 by which the will of the people of Jammu and Kashmir can be expressed through the Constituent Assembly.